Our time 602. And now to that feisty town hall meeting in Virginia Beach. Constituents of Congressman Scott Taylor packed Kempsville High School last night to confront him on several issues. And tonight he is expected to face another testy meeting at York High School. Rico Bush joins us in the studio now to tell us more about last night's town hall. You, Rico, you say that some folks even got turned away. Yeah, Katie Don, so many people showed up to that town hall meeting. Not all of them could fit in that auditorium. So hundreds of people with wide ranging political views waited outside during the duration of that meeting. They chanted and held up signs. <laughs> Inside that building, as you can see, it got testy. More than 700 people seated. Constituents shouted questions at their representative about several issues. Taylor took 35 questions over 90 minutes. He talked about women's rights, sea level rise, and how he supports the decriminalization of marijuana on Russia. Taylor said he supported a bipartisan investigation into the alleged hacking by the Russians during the 2016 presidential election. Russia meddling in our elections, any country meddling in our elections, is a legitimate concern. I know that the FBI is investigating that, and they actually said it's broader than just Flynn. I have every confidence that if there is something, they'll find it. Taylor also spoke about division in the country. In his speech, he said that there is no time to waste in bringing people together. On the Affordable Care Act, Taylor said he wants to repeal it, and you'll hear more about that in 30 minutes. Now, you can have another chance to talk with Taylor. The congressman will have two more town halls this week. Tonight, he will be at York High School at 630. Tomorrow, he will hold a town hall meeting at Eastern Shore Community College in Melfa. That town hall will also start at 630. Rico Bush, Tanner Side.